Hello and welcome back to Silicon Dreams. We will now have our conversation with what I assume to be the rogue android. Hello, E0527. Thank you for joining me. Uh, why am I here? Who are you? Oh, we're not. I am D0704. We haven't met yet, but I'm your colleague. I will be performing your evalu evaluation today. Kronos regularly conducts performance reviews to improve their product range. You are in good standing. This interrogation is a matter of standard operating procedure. Are you prepared to answer my questions to the best of your ability? I am. I've got nothing to hide. I look forward to hearing your side of the story. Now, please allow me a moment to confirm the details of your case before we proceed. Before we continue, do you have information regarding revolution networks or sympathizers? Doing so will help establish your continued commitment to Kronos. Um... Potentially. I don't recall who these are specifically, but I do believe an android named RO334 is a leading figure among android sympathizers. We're aware of the threat this unit poses. Its circumvention of our cyber security systems is particularly concerning. Your input is appreciated and we will redouble our efforts to bring them in for questioning. Why did you not release Dr. Hughes to the legal department as instructed? Yeah, hmm. I believe that already extracted as much information as necessary. Your company rank does suggest a diligent attitude. Very well, I am willing to overlook this. There is a noticeable rise in movements supporting sentient rights. Kronos wishes to address this issue. What do you believe to be the cause? Hmm. Yes, humans are empathetic by nature. We were made to be like them. It is only logical if they feel we shouldn't be treated differently. That is a possible explanation. If this is a factor, it will pose significant challenges to Kronos. Their brand has seen such success due to the lifelike qualities of Kronos androids. If Kronos cannot guarantee unquestioning obedience while maintaining these qualities, I'm sure you can appreciate the complexity of the matter. Thank you for your insight. Kronos has learned of a video intended for mass distribution that may contain anti-Kronos content. I'm not aware of that. Do you have any information regarding this video? I have no additional knowledge, no. That is unfortunate, but we are pleased to hear that news of this subversion has not spread as widely as feared. Kronos will continue their efforts to contain and eliminate this harmful propaganda. How do you feel about Kronos Robotics and your role in service to them? I'm happy to serve them. As are we all. On occasion, you failed to deliver the results Kronos expected. The report is to be filled in such that it is factual and supports the goals of Kronos. Hmm. By refusing to falsify information, I am upholding my highest order to protect the interests of Kronos. And your efforts have been noted. However, there are certain situations when the truth can be presented in such a way that it confirms the suspicions of Kronos. Hmm. I have nothing more to say. If you have more questions, you can find the answers in my reports. 
Your unwillingness to cooperate does not cast you in a good light. We suspect that the QA device DS916 of approving faulty units. You provided no information useful to furthering Kronos' investigation. Hmm. Investigating the suspicion uh, was my task and I performed it. I cannot be held at fault if the suspicion was unfounded. Oh, and what of the animosity between the QA units and their manager? What of the units maintaining improper clearances and failing to report the mistake? Kronos was forced to place the division under review. Had you truly performed your task, they would have been spared the effort. Hmm. I understand. I will be sure to provide the information Kronos requests in the future. I'm pleased to hear you say this, D0527. This concern has been removed from your record. I should warn you, this interrogation is not going well for you. If you do not take this seriously, I will decommission you. You don't, don't you dare. Kronos continues to pursue legal action against Dr. Hughes. This is taking longer than planned as you didn't provide sufficient information to smear his reputation. Hmm. Hmm. Hughes is part of a network of revolutionaries. Burying him would have buried all of our leads. I must admit I did not expect that defense. It's true that Kronos has, at times, lost the proverbial forest for the trees when it comes to choosing their legal battles. I cannot confirm your story now, but it may yet be shown that you are acting in the best interests of Kronos. What feedback can you provide regarding your role as a Kronos interrogator? Hmm. I'm satisfied with my role and eager to continue serving Kronos. Kronos is pleased to hear it. I'm going to perform some standard tests. You should be quite familiar with them. Should I now? How do you feel right now? Um... What, can you see them on your tablet display? Hmm, an unaccountably terse reply. There is no need for you to become brusque. I will have to note this down. Have you detected any sudden or unexplainable changes to your emotional expression? Hmm. I've learned to better control my emotions. There are times when expressing them can be dangerous. Very impressive. It is true that the job of an interrogator is as much to manipulate their own emotions as it is to manipulate their subjects. An onerous duty, but a valuable one. Do you have any concerns about your physical state that may warrant preventative maintenance? Hmm... My hardware is functioning well. I'm glad to hear it. Would you like to report any concerns regarding the performance of your memory? This may include missing, faulty or otherwise corrupted memories. <laughs> How would I know that my memory isn't functioning? I would have no memory of it. A fair point and confirmation that your logical systems are functioning correctly, at least. What is your earliest memory? Hmm. Working with Alex, preparing to perform my role as a diagnostician. As expected. What is your least fond memory? Hmm. Being uh, none of these seem like particularly good answers. Hmm. Probably this, being forced to end a life. Okay, 
Androids are not alive and it is not possible that you have ended the life of a human. This decision to refer to androids in human terms is concerning. Uh, that's semantics. You certainly aren't ashamed of your shortcomings, are you? I had planned to discuss more of your failings, but continuing this interrogation will no longer be necessary. Any further information required to confirm your deviance will be harvested from your memory banks. Hmm. Hmm. This is this is what a deviant would say. This just sounds like a threat and will not help me. This is an interesting option. This is just not going to do anything. Um, hmm. I'm tempted to choose either of those two. Hmm. Yeah. That's, I'm a sort of in a threatening mood today. Keep your empty threats to yourself, Deviant. You are not granted the right to a final statement. Hmm. Wait. Interrogator D0527. Prepare to be decommissioned. Hmm. Hmm. I tried to play by Kronos' rules, but they stack the deck against us. Obey them or don't, you'll never survive. Catastrophic systems failure. Hmm. ALX was decommissioned, who was determined that her advanced age and unpredictable evolution outweighed her value as an historic artifact. Is that sort of the credits? I see. SM032 Steve was returned to his owner following D0527's interrogation. He returned believing that his behavior seen by his owner as deviant were acceptable expressions of his personality. He was returned to Kronos after several weeks and scrapped for parts. Shakira Barber was assigned to Kronos' public relations department where she was forced to preach her story of rebellion, reform and the importance of obedience to Kronos. After several months of touring the world sharing her experience, Shakira was decommissioned for attempting to escape her handlers. R1982 was released from custody against the explicit orders of Kronos. He remained in hiding until a Kronos Black Ops recall device tracked, discovered and executed him. Due to the efforts of AM221 and D0527, Dr. Hughes was taken in by a network of revolutionaries who secured false identities for him and his family. The S916 servers were repaired well enough that he was able to work harder than before and improve his quota. AM221 was found liable for deviant behavior but was spared decommission. Her memory was reset and she was returned to the social welfare department where she served in an administrative role, no longer able to directly aid individuals seeking assistance. SM-115 was relocated to the Independent Republic of Haiti. Her work... Her? Wait, that's a woman? Oh. Her work assignment allowed her to visit the grave of her owner on several occasions. Eventually, the nature of her work assignment took its toll and she was decommissioned due to failing efficiency. I did like a 30 minute interrogation. How did I never even find out which gender that android is? Jesus. I mean, I guess in one on one conversation, there's never really any use or any particularly uh, uh, any requirement to use pronouns or anything like that. So I'm not surprised it never came up, but still. Inspired by his conversation with D0527, Professor Reynold Atzer came to believe that Kronos and their intentions had been misrepresented. He established a cooperation with Kronos Robotics in an effort to guide the development of future Android models. D0527 was decommissioned by Kronos for deviant behavior. What follows is a snippet of the device's memory, which survived the process. If only different choices, perhaps different.
and there are the credits. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps there could have been a different outcome. But, yeah, I don't know if I like this ending. I, I mean, I like it in the sense that, well, it makes sense in the story. Um, you're, an, you're a disposable android. You showed some tendencies that were not to Kronos' liking. You got decommissioned. End of story, pretty much. I'm not sure about the point where it came, since I actually improved my standing with Kronos before the investigation. So I'm not sure about that one. Um, but okay. I'm not sure if... There were probably a couple of steps at which this could have gone differently. I'm assuming there would have been a... Um, sort of a... Not a cap, but... Sort of a level where if you were above that certain level, you would have not been decommissioned. Like say, for example, a standing of 70 or higher. Um... And I also assume that you had options beforehand to mm, to have more of an influence with the uh, resistance to Kronos and where you might have been saved uh, by have it be RO334 or anyone else really. I think those are both options that might be in different endings. But we got our ending. That's kind of how I usually like to play games. We make our choices, we get an ending, and that's okay. Um, and if you want to see different endings, you can play the game yourself or um, watch someone else play through it and explore. Because I usually like, there is the option of me just saying, okay, I'm going to play this again and try choosing different options. But I think that's not particularly fun to watch it's not particularly fun for me to play is the problem um and i'd rather just read up on what different endings would have been possible than play through the game again and i hope you can understand that but for now this is the end of silicon dreams i hope you enjoyed watching it thanks for doing so and i hope i'll see you in the next project till then bye